What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about an ETF that you can purchase and get direct exposure to the S&P 500. So, this is a newer fund, you know, you know, if you think about the S&P 500, the first funds that a lot of people will mention to you is VOO or SPY. Now, introducing today, this is one I just recently came across that is actually cheaper than both of those. It is ran by Spider it is targeting the S&P 500, so it is going to purchase the 500 largest stocks in the United States, uh, market cap wise. Uh, but the cool thing about it is, like I mentioned, it is cheaper than VOO and SPY. So 0 0.02 is the cheapest I've actually seen for an S&P 500 ETF. Comparing this to VOO, VOO is coming in at 0.03. And then SPY is the little bit more expensive, uh, you know, the more expensive of the three coming in at 0.095. So, you know, it's significantly cheaper than SPY. So they are managed by the same, you know, fund manager. Uh, the assets under manager obviously is a significant difference there. And the volume, you know, obviously the average volume is going to be a huge difference because that is the kind of, uh, you know, the use case for using SPY over VOO or SPLG. Let's actually look at real quick, just the assets under management and the average volume for VOO to see how it compares. Total assets is 482 billion. And then the volume is, you know, significantly less. And then looking at SPLG, I think it was around 40 some billion. Yeah, so 41.4 billion average volume is still pretty good. You know, that's almost equivalent to, it looks like it actually might be a little bit more than VOO. So 4.4 and 5.6. Yeah, so yeah, so it's actually bigger uh, as far as volume goes. So you could still trade some options. It's not, uh, obviously not going to be as good as, um, you know, options on SPY, but it does look like the volume is a little bit better than VOO. Uh, so, uh, yeah, guys, needless to say, this is a cheaper version, by far the cheapest uh, cheapest ETF exposure to the s and I've came across. If there's any others that you're aware of that's cheaper than 0 0.02, definitely let me know. I would love to, you know, definitely take a look at it. Uh, current yield, 1.29%. Uh, 12-month yield, 1.32%. So definitely not a high-yielding, you know, ETF. But uh, you are getting the growth of the S&P 500. Year to date, it's doing pretty well, 15.4%. Last year was up 26.24%. So, you know, obviously it's going to track the same as the S&P 500. But, uh, but yeah, guys, that is uh, pretty much the sum up uh, the summary of today's video. You know, SPLG, it is in a way that you can purchase the S&P 500. And it currently is the cheapest way that I know of. Uh, if you want to purchase an ETF, you know, obviously you can buy, I think it's like FX, AIX. If you wanted to buy a mutual fund version, they just aren't as portable. Yeah, so you know there are cheaper ways to purchase um, the S and P S and P five hundred. But if you want to buy it via an ETF, which you know has its pros and cons, I'll do another video kind of comparing the two. You know, uh, a mutual fund versus an ETF. Mutual funds used to be a lot more popular back in the day when fractional shares uh, was not a thing. Uh, because if you just had a hundred dollars you wanted to invest into the stock market, you know you could just do that via uh, via mutual funds. Even though it's one eighty nine, you're gonna buy a fractional you know fractional share of that mutual fund. Versus uh, you know back in the day, uh, ETFs you, you couldn't buy a fractional share of it. You either had to purchase the entire price or you just couldn't. Um, however, nowadays that's that's changed a significant amount. So. So yeah, that, that's one thing that I know of that's different. Uh, I do know that every year, mutual funds have to distribute, uh, you know, their their capital gains. So you can see distributions every single year. They have to, uh, you know, distribute capital gains. I'm not sure. Yeah. So normally it's in December. So it looks like, um, yeah, this might not be a good example. And, and you know, they may not have uh, distributed the last couple of years. But typically, you know, mutual funds every single year have to 
distribute either you know short-term capital gains or long-term capital gains versus like VOO that they don't have to they don't have to do that. So if you're investing in like a taxable brokerage account, a lot of uh, a lot of people recommend to go with you know the ETF uh, ETF option just because you know you're not going to get hit with that you know short-term uh, long-term capital gain. At the end of the year, yeah. Typically, it's in July or December, like I mentioned. I don't see any in here, but I also didn't see any for VX, uh, V X A I X either. So, uh, but just keep that in mind. You know, those are there's some different pros and cons. You know, obviously, if you invest into a mutual fund that has a high turnover rate, uh, let's look at like one of Fidelity's actively managed mutual funds. They have a much higher turnover rate. Uh, so the turnover rate means like. How often are they flipping or you know turning over shares? If you go to the performance, go to distributions. Yeah, so the, there's a, this is kind of what I was expecting. You know, it looks like every February and December they are um, distributing some of their capital gains in the form of uh, looks like it's just mainly long-term capital gains here. But uh, needless to say, you know you would get hit with that if it's in your uh, you know taxable brokerage account. So just keep that in mind. But highlight of today's video, SPLG. It's a uh, it's a new fund I came across. Um, it's a cheaper version. It is managed by Spider. Looks like they have a couple other ones as well, like SPI SPYG. That's the growth version of the S and P five hundred. SP SPV is the S and P SP five hundred value. Sorry. And then SPYD is the high dividend. So there are some different ones. Um, but needless to say, I was pretty pretty pleased when I came across this um, because that's always the biggest argument I see people making on uh, on the internet you know VOO is so much better than spy um, and yeah if you know you're just passively investing into it um, it's it's cheaper you know um, as far as the expense ratio goes but you know if you ever trade options or anything like that or you know um, you know the bid ask spread is gonna be tighter uh, with spy versus VOO and SBLG uh, just some things to thing about there so uh yeah guys i know um that pretty much wraps up today's video if you got some value from it please like and subscribe down below that helps out our channel a lot um and yeah let me know what version of the s p 500 you guys prefer you know spy voo are you already actively investing in sblg uh let me know down below in the comment sections appreciate it